Today I'm going to show you how to make a performance-based assessment within School City. Now, performance-based, of course, the first thing you think of might be uh, physical education or one of the fine arts. But you might also use this as a classroom teacher. For example, if you give a presentation in class, not if you give the presentation, but if you assign a presentation, uh, this would be a good way to assess that that information. You also might want to use this for something like an essay, something that you'll grade somewhere else, but you want the data available within School City. So like usual, you want to create your assessments, and this time we're going to pick performance-based. Now, you'll have a choice between your own or a school level, um, and I know that's a school, but that, that's where they are for you. Uh, if you want to share it with other teachers, choose a school level assessment. If you want it to just be yours, choose your own. Now you do want to name it by the year and then um, the school. I don't want to be political here, so I'm just going to put BM box middle or bare middle. You can decide yourself. And then the subject, this is going to be English language arts and then uh, I like some information so I know what it is but in this case I'm gonna put delete me and then it's a personal narrative so I'm doing English language arts you can add a collection if you want and you probably want standards now here's where it gets tricky this include assessment objectives does not give you a lot of good information here so let me explain the difference. If you have a single standard that you want to measure throughout the assessment, then you can just, you have to save it first, but then you just click the enter rubric and that's all you need. You do not have to go through and include assessment objectives. Objectives would be if you want multiple different things to be measured with the same assessment. So if I'm using the kids, uh, say they're giving a presentation in class and I want to look at both their, the quality of their information and uh, the presentation, well, those are two separate things. And those are two separate things in the standards, so I would want to include the assessment objectives. And you'll notice all of this down here changed. So if you don't do that, if you're only measuring a single standard, you can you have to save it first, but then go ahead and enter a rubric right here. It opens up a little window and you can type in what you want to see while the kids look. But I'm going to include multiple objectives today. Um, I don't need it for multiple grades right now. I'm going to schedule all students and that looks beautiful. Clicking next. Now I'm going to select the standards that I want here. Um, and let's say that I'm doing it in uh, ninth grade. And so where they're giving their information, we're going to look at, actually it doesn't, this is a tutorial, it doesn't matter which ones I pick, so I'll just pick two random ones. Now, this is where it's different than the other ones that you've seen. You have a, a few choices here. So the first thing I want is to decide what the thing is. If I'm going to measure the theme of this, select my standard, or you could select both standards if you'd prefer. Now, your score, you can give it however you want. You can uh, measure it. Most of you will want to do raw score because that's what you're used to. 50 out of 50 points, but you can choose whatever you feel, uh, whatever you feel is appropriate. I'm going to leave it raw score here, and I'm going to give it as a number. Now, if there, my kids on this particular one can get between zero and 50 points. Now I could choose whether I want it to measure their performance level on this particular objective, 
Um, I can choose to put a rubric right here, and I'll show you what that looks like. I can upload one, or I can just type one in. Maybe I want to just do a simple table with uh, three columns and one row. And this is what I will see as I, as I grade it. So 50 points. And this, you can format it any way you want. I could have done two lines if I chose to, but I'm going to do it really simple so you don't have to sit and watch me do stupid stuff. And I think you'd never really type just 50 points. But. You can put in whatever you want the rubric to look like. Um, you can also add a secondary objective down here. That gets a little complicated, so I'm just going to go with that. Now that I've got my objective and my theme and everything, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I can add another objective. So the first thing that I did is I'm going to check their theme. Second, I'm going to grade them on the length. And let's say that this is this standard. Again, I'm going to leave that the same way. This time it's worth 30 points. And let's say I don't want a rubric for that one, because that'll make my life easier. And then... Whatever I feel I need... I'm going to stop there. Won't enter a rubric this time. Save it again. Yay. I want to know if they're doing according to the Box Elder Middle School standard, 70%. And then you've got it. So you see I can measure each one of these separately to know how well the students are doing. Now in another tutorial I'll show you how you would enter the scores for this.